And now to the continuing story from Hong Kong. Eight straight weeks, Hong Kong streets have been witnessing demonstrations and violent clashes. Today, the protests spilled onto the train tracks. After a sit-in at Hong Kong's International Airport on Friday, protesters today aimed for the railway network. Hundreds of protesters headed to Hong Kong's Thieu Keng Leng train station this morning, flooding the platforms, wedging themselves in between the train's automatic doors, preventing them from closing and forcing service delays of, or partial suspensions. This was during the morning rush hour and the result was absolute chaos. Hundreds were left trying to find other ways to get to work. The tactic was repeated across several other stations. Hong Kong's mass transit railway reported backlogs, multiple disruptions and interruptions, but not everyone was complaining. Most people weren't, in fact. Some commuters said the disruption was not an issue for them since it was part of their fight for their basic rights. Uh, I think my work and meeting could wait. But our freedom, safety and human rights are taken away and that can't wait. So I'm okay with it. For half an hour. Half an hour. Yeah. Is it inconvenient? Uh, a little bit. But I think it's okay. Uh, because I think the government should uh, respond to the uh, demand of the citizens. Uh, otherwise, they will not uh, carry out these actions. The strategy here is to try and disrupt daily life and maintain the momentum of the protest. Protesters have been saying it is not their intention to cause inconvenience and they only want to make the authorities understand the reason behind their frustration. Hong Kong law police uh, has come under fierce criticism from protesters for alleged use of excessive force. The extradition bill, which was the trigger for these protests, is only a part of the reason now. There is a broader revolt against the Chinese state. The youth feel that the very autonomy of Hong Kong is now under threat. Unlike the previous protest movements that have been witnessed in Hong Kong, this one is a faceless one, a leaderless protest, but there are many faces that symbolize the very essence of these protests. Take, for instance, this woman. Described on social media as furious and fearless, she truly is. She stood like a wall between the protesters and the police, defending the young demonstrators in the northern town of Yunlong, crying out loud and urging the police to not harm the protesters. <laughs> incredible the spirit of these people meanwhile in a move that is likely to further fuel tensions the hong kong government today charged 44 protesters with rioting they face up to 10 years in jail this prompted the protesters to gather outside the hong kong prison just a short while back for now the protests are showing no signs of dying down anytime soon this story will continue